So in this uh, video lecture, we will be continuing with the topic of bond valuation and we will be uh, discussing in this unit 7.4 different bond yields. Bond yield is basically the return that the investor gets on the bond. Now there are different types of bond yields that we will be studying. Number one, we will be studying current yield uh, in this unit. Also, you will be studying yield to maturity and lastly, yield to call. Bond yield is going to vary from day to day depending upon the uh, current market conditions. So let's start with our topic. The key concept of bonds in the related term we have already studied, type of bonds we have already studied, and the concept of valuation of bonds we have also studied. Now we're studying the concept of coupon rate, current yield, YTM, and YTC in this unit. So current yield is the present return on the basis of coupon payment and current price of the bond. The formula for current yield is the annual coupon payment divided by the current price. Now the formula for the coupon rate, let's contrast both of them. So the formula for the coupon rate would be the annual coupon payment divided by the face value. So if you divide the annual coupon payment by the face value, you get the coupon rate. But if you divide it by the current price, you get the current deal. So if the investor wants to purchase the bond today, he will have to purchase it at the current price. And the annual uh, coupon uh, payment is the return that he will get first year after he purchases the bond. So current deal tells you the return that the investor will get right now. The price is the investment of the investor, he will have to purchase a bond at the current price and what is the current return that he will get from purchasing that bond, it's going to be the annual coupon payment. So the current yield is just going to tell you the return that you will get immediately after purchasing the bond. It is not a measure of the total return that you will get from the bond. So let's look at um, a practice question for this. Oh wait, let me just clear what I have written. For example, this is a practice question. Find the current deal for a 10 year 9% annual coupon bond that sells for 8 at 7 and has a face value of 1000. So you need to find the current deal. The current deal formula is coupon payment divided by market price with a 9% annual coupon bond. So this is the coupon rate that sells for 8 at 7. So this is the market price and has a face value of 1000. So this is the par value. First, you need to calculate the coupon payment to use the current deal formula. So the formula for coupon payment is your coupon rate multiplied by the face value. The coupon rate is 9% and multiply it by 1000. So 90 is the coupon payment. 90 divided by the market price, which is 888. Seven. Solving this, you will get to know the current yield, which is ten point one five percent. So you have to convert it into a percentage. Ten. 10.15% is the answer. So the investor will get a current yield of 10.15% if he purchases this bond at 887 rupees. <coughs> Again, this is not the total return that the investor will get. It is just the current for now return that the investor will get. Now moving ahead.
Interest payment means the coupon payment. So now you can see the difference between them. A five-year bond with a coupon rate of 4% has a face value of 1,000. What is the annual interest payment? So simply asking you to calculate the coupon payment over here. So if you solve this, coupon payment is equals to coupon rate multiplied by face value. So the coupon rate is 4% and the face value is 1,000. So this is going to be 40. This is the coupon payment over here. Okay, so now we're going to discuss the next type of yield, which is your yield to maturity. It is the investor's required return on bond trading in the secondary market. Uh, market. Return investor received if, it's if he holds the bond till maturity. So sorry about uh, some of the words that came out wrong. So basically your yield to maturity is the return that the investor will get if he holds the bond till maturity. So the investor isn't going to sell the bond in the middle. If he purchases the bond right now, and then decides that he is going to hold it till maturity. So the bond is not going to get called in the middle and the investor is not going to return the bond, neither is he going to sell it to somebody else. So what is the return if the investor has the bond till the bond matures? That is your yield to maturity as the name suggests. And basically it is your required rate of return on the bond. It is your discount rate. It is the uh, market interest rate that you were using for discounting purposes so on in all of your questions. So this is how you can figure out the market interest rate. So now let's look at an example for yield to maturity in order to better understand this concept. So a six year bond with 1000 rupees face value pays 80 rupees interest annually and sells for 950 rupees. What is the coupon rate? current yield and yield to maturity. So first we're going to calculate the coupon rate for this bond. So coupon rate is your coupon payment divided by the face value of the bond. The coupon payment is 80, question tells you this, and the face value is 1000. Do not divide it by the uh, market price, it sells for 950 means that this is the market price of the bond because that would then give you the current yield divided by the face value, which is 1000. So 8% is the coupon rate. Now we are also calculate the current yield. So current yield is going to be coupon payment divided by the market price. So the coupon payment is 80 and the market price is 950. So if you solve this, 8.42% is the current year. And you can see the difference. If you compare the coupon rate to the current yield, the current yield is actually a bit more. Why is the current yield a bit more than the coupon rate? Because the bond is actually trading at discount. It's trading for less than 1,000. It's trading at discount. Now, because you are purchasing the bond cheaper, your current yield is going to be more than the coupon rate. That's why current yield is going to tell you uh, the investor's return. And the coupon rate is just how much are the going to be the coupon payments. It is not going to tell you the return. Only if uh, the bond is also trading at the par value, if the market price is also 1000, will the coupon rate and the current yield be equal. But current yield is also not that good of a measure for of return because it does not tell you the total return that you will have. The yield to maturity will yes tell the total return that the investor will get if he purchases the bond, but there is no way to calculate the yield of maturity. The only way is through trial and error. Now let's see what does this trial and error mean. 